policy yeah. that a, a, you know, a, it is organized this event. This event, yeah. For each month. So uh, I'm going to ask how, like a couple of questions yeah. uh, regarding to entrepreneurship in Turkey and entrepreneurs. Okay. Okay. So, so. What you, What do I know? Can I? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, uh, first of all. What do you think about the ambience of the event and can you tell us a little bit of the uh, start of Turkey? Okay. I think the ambience, if I, if I, the best comparison I could find is, is probably Germany or UK 12 years ago or 15 years ago, which is when everything started, particularly in the e-commerce and internet uh, scene. It's, it was immensely positive uh, in the sense that people were full of energy or are full of energy. They want to build their own companies, they want to succeed and it seems that the environment generally in, in, in Turkey is such that people nowadays have all the possibilities to do that. They have the education, it seems. They have uh, uh, the infrastructure that is there. They have the demographics that work for them, at least in certain segments where this is very important. There's a, there's a large enough domestic market to support companies, even if they were focused on the on the local market. And I think it was it was it was very refreshing. Actually, it was like breathing fresh air, so to speak, compared to the discussions we're having when 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 I travel through through Europe, which is all about crisis and all about uh, lack of growth and all about uh, problems ahead. Here it seems like more. What are the opportunities ahead? And this is much, much more energizing. I have to say, it's very good. So, uh, so when you compare uh, about the other entrepreneurs all over the world yeah. uh, with the Turks, well, uh, now what do you see the, the pros and cons of a Turkish entrepreneurs? Wow, that's a that's a that's a vast question. Um, I have to say that this is the first time I'm actually in touch with Turkish entrepreneurs, so uh, keep this in mind because many of the things I just haven't seen or experienced. So what I, what I, based on what I've seen here, it's they are refreshingly unspoiled, the entrepreneurs, and probably to some extent naive, which is you, what you need to be if you if you launch your own business. Um, when I hear some of their, about some of their ideas, the way they present their ideas, the way they, they think they can attract interest of, of investors, I think the, the flip side of that is that if you compare them to the more advanced markets, whatever advanced means, whether it's the UK, Germany, US, they are obviously lacking the, the, the expertise uh, so it comes across with these very young entrepreneurs in particular, the expertise and the, 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 the anticipation of what's ahead of them in creating their own companies and becoming entrepreneurs. So there's a, there's a, there's a difference in, in awareness, let's say, of, of what it means to be an entrepreneur, which means they probably need more teaching here and, and they have to go through this learning cycle and learning curve which other entrepreneurs have gone through. Now, the positive thing here, it appears to me, is that you have already quite a few successful role models that, whether it's Sina Afra or some of the other guys, I don't even know many of the other names. I understand that the Yemet Sepeti is a very, a very successful company, an entrepreneur, a group of entrepreneurs. So you have the role models and they all seem to be very close to each other and close to the startups. And that's very good because that can help the transition of experience uh, to those entrepreneurs much earlier and help maybe avoid some of the pitfalls, some of the mistakes uh, that they have made and, and avoid that others will make it in the future. Uh, and it seems to me that the exchange of ideas is much more natural here, whereas in some other geographies you see like, well, the successful ones, they want to be as far away as possible from the, from the young ones and don't necessarily are inclined to share with them. So that I found very, very positive here. Uh -huh. Yeah, and on the other hand, uh, I can actually comment on the one uh, other cons of fear. Like, uh, as uh, Mr. Gelembe has mentioned that uh, the entrepreneurs actually only 
has been uh, a concern on uh, some uh, black and not white um, the subjects. How can I say that? Sorry, I, I'm not sure I got your question. Well, uh, actually, uh, I can say that the entrepreneurs are not concerned uh, very widely. Uh, actually, I mean, uh, most of them are mostly concerned of, uh, about the e-commerce websites yeah. or, or, for example, not the, the social entrepreneurship or the social business. Like okay. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure I can answer that question. Uh, how relevant social entrepreneurship is or should be in in, uh, in Turkey versus versus uh, the for commerce or for profit uh, entrepreneurs. I would, given the, the stage of evolution that Turkey is in, I think it's it's natural to assume that first of all, most of the people will go for for profit entrepreneurship. They go after their own after realizing their own dreams, which usually means that you make some form of of profit, um, which doesn't necessarily exclude that you're socially responsible in what you're doing, but this is probably a secondary uh, consideration at this point in time. Whereas, if I look at, again, some of the Western European markets, it all of a sudden becomes much more mainstream, much more prevalent, this whole subject about uh, social entrepreneurship. But I'm not saying that I'm an expert by any means in, in what that really means and what it will yield ultimately. Uh, in the in the entrepreneurial or in the business landscape, so it's it's hard to tell whether this is good or bad uh, yeah, at this, okay. this point in time. And also, uh, are you planning to invest in Turkey? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, according to that, what is your most important concern while you uh, invest on on an entrepreneur? First of all, what is my most important concern when I enter a market? For me, as I said, this, this is a beginning of a journey. I hope that will lead us to becoming more active, well, becoming active investors in Turkey. Um, this for Mangrove, as my firm, uh, would be the third emerging country in which we would start getting active as investors. After Russia, which we've done five years ago, and after India, which we started about a year ago. Uh, so we are at the very beginning of this. And what it means is, we have to get some comfort level as to what is the environment like, what are the ecosystem, what is the ecosystem like, what are the economic parameters, and how do you judge? And this is the most important one. How do you judge the qualities of an entrepreneur? This is this has to do a lot about mentality of the people. How can you read into a person when you meet him for a limited period of time uh, and in a limited number of situations? How can you judge appropriately whether or not he is a good entrepreneur? And that means for us practically that when we do this, and we've done it in Russia, we've done it in India, we try to first find anchors or hooks, that is people we have some form of previous relationship with that we trust and that do bring us the knowledge about the local market and how to interpret behaviors of, of, of people in this local market, uh, that is the entrepreneurs in particular. And then above that, obviously, to tell us, well, what is the ecosystem like? Who are the big actors in the, in, in the place? What can you expect uh, from um, in, in, in subjects such as payments, such as uh, advertising? How, is it, how well is the, infra the logistics if relative uh, to e-commerce? What is the infrastructure like? So we need to gather more information before we actually get active. So this was a starting point. It was a very interesting one and we'll certainly continue exploring and, and discovering uh, Turkey in, in a very near future. Yeah, okay, thank you very much for your time. Sir. Thank you.